Hey guys, welcome in to the boardroom. I've been wanting to share this article with you for, gosh, probably months now. We've been so incredibly busy, it's been tough for me to get back here and have some peace and quiet to be able to share this because this is big. Particularly if you are a millennial or a parent of a millennial, then you might wanna listen up. This was released on Yahoo Finance a couple months back, titled Millennials are seeing their health decline faster than Gen X, worrying experts. Now, of course, being a millennial myself, I felt it was as imperative as ever to share what's contained in this article because it is huge. It is very, very significant now and going forward into the future. Now, just so you know, if, if you're not certain where you fall as far as generations go, millennials, someone that's typically born between 1981 and 1996, I'll let you be the judge and where I fall on that. Nonetheless, here we go. The declining health of the millennial generation could have a serious impact on the US healthcare system, according to experts. And we know how wonderful our healthcare system is already, right? We're ranked gosh, in the 50s, I think, of all industrialized nations, yet we spend the most in our healthcare system, and yet disease rates are still skyrocketing. People are sicker than ever. That ought to tell you something. Probably learned from some of these other countries. A couple areas here that I've highlighted as I went through this article a couple months back, and now it's time to share it. Millennials are seeing their health decline faster than any previous generation as they continue to age. Under the most adverse scenario, millennial treatment costs are projected to be as much as 33% higher than Gen Xers, the generation that came right before the millennials. And that's experienced at a comparable age. It goes on to say the US already spends more than 18% of its GDP on healthcare expenditures, the highest in the developed world. And we've already talked about where we rank as far as our healthcare system goes, with countries like Malta ranking higher than the United States of America. Somewhere in the 50s last I checked. Not very good. Oh boy, in 2017, US healthcare spending grew 3.9%, reaching 3.5 trillion, or about 10 to $11,000 per person. And there's over 300 million of us here in the US. Of course, they go on to share this wonderful chart, which I will show. Growing share of economy, national health expenditures as a percent of GDP from 1960 to 2017. You'll notice the trend. Skyrocketing. And we look at this and we think, oh man, this is a re really bad thing for our health and for disease rates but you gotta realize what this does to our economy. It is huge, hugely impactful to this country. Of course, we go on here, the CDC estimates about 90% of the nation's annual healthcare expenditures are for people with chronic and mental health conditions, i.e. many of these are conditions that were brought upon by people's poor lifestyle choices. Or maybe they're brought upon because people don't know of a, an experienced and a good doctor that can lead them right and provide them with a more natural means for healing. And so we're over medicated and we're trying to palliate in it and achieve immediate gratification for things that have taken years to develop. And these things do not work. They're not effective. They're simply covering symptoms rather than fixing that deep rooted underlying cause. And that's what we're all about here at One Health Chiropractic. This report's findings reinforce the importance of preventative care, not only for millennials, but system-wide as well. Many conditions, both physical and behavioral, can be treated more effectively and affordably if brought to a doctor's attention early on. How many of you out there are toughing it out, just gonna get by, blaming it on your genes. Oh, that's, that's just the way it is. If you ignore your health now, it's gonna go away. And if you don't listen to your body when it's whispering to you, you're gonna have to hear it yell at you 
later in life. See, it's like I tell my patients, this is something that's progressing, it's serious, it's wearing and tearing on your body, it's something that has to be treated. It has to be dealt with, either now conservatively or later once it's really wreaking havoc. And the sad part is, ladies and gentlemen, most people are waiting until later. Can you imagine if you did that as far as your wealth building goes? Because people are doing that with their health building. We already know that, we've seen the charts, we see all the research, we see the statistics. Can you imagine if you decided, oh, I'm not gonna save, I'm not gonna start saving now, I mean, I'm in my 30s after all, or I'm in my 20s, or I'm only 40, I got plenty of time, and then boom, you're, you're now 65. And can you imagine saying, man, I gotta save up for my retirement? Poor planning, not paying the price now so that you can have a better quality of life later. Can you imagine doing that? Maybe you don't have to imagine because the statistics on wealth building in this country are also shocking. People procrastinating, waiting until later. It's time, starting now, brand new decade, 2020, it's time we start really getting our mindset fixed. Let's invest now so we don't have to pay the ultimate price later. We've got to get out of this mindset of immediate gratification. We've got to get into the mindset of long-term vision with our money, with our wealth, and with our physical health. It's the only way to 100% win the game. Small steps over time so you avoid a massive catastrophe later on that in most circumstances cannot be remedied maybe salvaged, maybe managed, maybe, you know, not cured, but maybe we can keep it okay, but it cannot be fully fixed. Millennials account for the largest share of the U.S. population and the largest share of the U.S. labor market. A sicker workforce means more and more people missing work or stopping altogether. Based on Moody, the researcher, based on Moody's findings, the labor force participation rate is projected to decline over the next decade. There's your projection, going downhill. Furthermore, furthermore, even when they are working, health concerns may prevent them from being as productive as they would have been had they had the same health profile as previous generations. And we're speaking about the millennials now. The findings of this report are not only concerning for millennials, but also for employers, providers, and the U.S. economy at large. I encourage you, starting right now, today, wherever you are, whoever you are, wherever you're at in life, you owe it to yourself to start taking better care of you. Maybe you don't have a lot of money. Maybe you don't have a lot of resources. Maybe you don't have family around. I don't know where you're at, but I can tell you one thing for certain after treating thousands of patients, meeting thousands of people across the world, having dozens and dozens of high-level mentors and high-level doctors and high-level colleagues that I consistently interact and mastermind with, I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself, even if you start at just the littlest bit. Maybe, you're, maybe you decide, I'm gonna start getting adjusted once a month. I'm gonna elevate the health of my spine, my muscles, my nervous system, which controls my entire body. Maybe you start there and that's okay. That's perfect. You gotta start somewhere. Maybe you're not saving any money. Start saving $5 a week. It doesn't matter how much you save, it's the habit of saving that matters. It doesn't matter how much you're doing for your health on a weekly basis. Maybe you go, well, I can't get the weekly massage. I can't get adjusted every single week. I don't have the money. You don't have the money right now, but you owe it to yourself to be doing something right now so we can mitigate catastrophes later on. That, my friends, is called maintenance. That is called prophylactic care. That's called preventative care. If you already are sitting there and you've got symptoms and you've got pain shooting down your leg and you get headaches every other day, you've got a serious issue happening. You've got all these feedback mechanisms called symptoms from your body telling you to go get help. And sadly, as we've discussed, most people will ignore those warning signs. 
and they'll wait until it's too late and then they want the doctor to perform a miracle and we can't do it. You owe it to yourself to take care of yourself now. The younger, the better. If you're watching this, you're 14, start now. When you're 80 and you're still doing yoga and you're still climbing 14ers, you're gonna thank me. This is Dr. Brandon Buttry per One Health Chiropractic. Thank you for joining me in the boardroom. And I'm reminding you, when your spine is in line, your nerves are online, the body's well balanced and has limitless potential. Get out there, take care of yourself now. Do not procrastinate, do not hesitate, do not wait to pay the price later.